new at six, hundreds of people demanding an end to what they say is police profiling. They rallied around the state capitol today. The marchers are supporting a controversial bill that would place new requirements on police. KCRA3's Mike Lurie joins us right now to show us what the controversy is all about, Mike. Colson, it's all about data, information to be collected by police showing who they stopped for questioning and whether those people stopped are actually charged with a crime. They marched together, a coalition of civil rights groups, united in their opposition to what they say is police profiling of racial minorities. Ronald Coleman, a lawyer, says it happened to him in New Orleans. I've been profiled by police. They were looking for a black man wearing all black. They immediately came running after me, took me down to the ground, started beating me up, beat me up while I was in handcuffs while they were trying to restrain me. All of this was caught on tape. No charges were filed against Coleman. Two of the officers involved in the incident were fired. I want action. Today at the Capitol, Assemblymember Shirley Weber rallied support for her bill. AB 593 would require California police officers to collect data on who they stop for questioning. An independent commission would then analyze the data to see if racial profiling is indeed occurring. The rally comes at a time when two police officers, one in Texas and one in Illinois, were gunned down in the line of duty just this week by assailants. We asked Shirley Weber about that today. Most unfortunate, and I think it comes out of people's frustration. It's no, it's no excuse. It's unacceptable, and we have to get ahead of the game rather than be behind it. I don't like responding to things. I like, be, I like preventing those things. But Weber's bill is drawing opposition from law enforcement. John McGinnis, former Sacramento County Sheriff, calls the bill flawed because the. The last thing you want officers to think about when they make an enforcement contact is the ethnicity or the race of the person with whom they have that contact. You want it to be based on their behavior. And Tom Lackey, a former CHP sergeant, now in the assembly, says the bill could put officers at risk. It would require uh, additional time where they're exposed to the dangers of passing traffic, which are quite significant. And that bill has already passed the state assembly and now heads to the Senate where a vote could happen as early as tomorrow, but more likely next week.